Well, today on Making Something From Nothing, we're going to be casting out of aluminum an eight-point buck in honor of my brother, an avid hunter. So stick around.
Well, y'all couldn't see it, but the crucible developed a hole in the side, and it was starting to leak metal. So I had to act quick. So I shut the furnace off, hoping the lack of heat would let uh, that little piece solidify just enough to plug that hole and give me time to pour the mold, which it did. Worked out good. This is one for the scrap pile now. Well, let's find out if uh, not using a gate and pouring directly into the mold is a good or a bad idea. I wanted to put all the extra metal on the back side so I can grind it down and never be seen. So, let's take a look, see what we got. Well, as you can see, I poured a little bit hot, but since the crucible was leaking, I didn't really have a choice. I wanted to get that metal out of the damn thing. Wanted to let it cool down for a little bit before pouring it, but didn't have that choice. And that's what we got. And I could see where I poured the metal in. It kind of destroyed the pattern a little bit. And that's to be expected. So this was all an experiment. So better to put a gate in and let the metal flow in from the side. So put it in an incon spicuous spot maybe in the bottom or something like that but overall it didn't turn out too bad but well I went ahead and ran this guy under some water so this way I could hold it and I wanted to show you what went wrong with this casting I wasn't real happy with these uh, with these edges because the pattern actually had a a nice kinda like tree bark looking edge and I retained a lot of it, but I poured the metal so hot that I really didn't get a good finish on that. And here's really the problem area. This is where I poured the metal in. And if we take a look at this, that's a good angle. It totally obliterated the detail on the pattern. Because of the turbulence of the hot metal going in, it started scouring the sand a little bit. And I kind of figured that would happen. This was really all an experiment, but I'm not real happy with the scouring uh, the sand took from the metal. Kind of destroyed all the, the detail here. And we could really see what it did over here. So, like I said, it was an experiment, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably melt this back down and try it again on another day. But overall, it didn't, didn't turn out too bad everywhere else. Would have lost the detail along the edges, but... Well, every time you cast, it's a learning experience, and I learned not to pour directly into a finely detailed pattern, so... There we go. I made nothing from something. Go figure.